but we're a community because we're the people of God. And we're the people of God because why? Because we embrace the Messiah. That's why. To be poor and oppressed is not to be defined as being a believer. Just because you're, a poor, you're poor doesn't mean you're, you know, you're a worshiper of Yahweh. Rather, it means you're the victim of unjust suffering. That is, a person is innocent or righteous, you know, in, in the case of why they're suffering, in regard to the cause of the suffering. This is the opposite of, of being, you know, being under divine chastisement or the proverbial law of sowing and reaping. That, that, that isn't the, in the picture here. This is you're a victim of injustice, and God is on the, the side of the people who are innocent of being victimized. And there were a lot of those people in Jesus' day. When we lift someone from unjust suffering and oppose systemic, institutional, national injustice, why, why should we do that? I mean, well, it's, by doing that, we show people what the family of God is like, what life in the family of God would be like. This is how you should be treated. And if you want to be treated this way, this is the community that, that practices those things. And we're a community not, not because we're just nice to people. We're a community because we're the people of God. And we're the people of God because why? Because we embrace the Messiah. That's why. When we ultimately link such injustice to spiritual evil as well, we judge the gods of the nations. This is wrong. Okay, they are wrong. They are evil. We judge the gods of the nations. And then we, you know, by doing that, we, we're in agreement with what Paul's going to come, come up, you know, up with later about the nullification of their authority as a result of the resurrection and ascension. We align ourselves with that. Their authority is stripped away. They deserve it. They deserve nothing but judgment. And we invite those suffering under spiritual evil to, evil to consider joining the community. Come back to the family of the Most High. Now, this is really what Jesus is after.